G'day mates, how's it going? I'm Mr GT, welcome to the channel. Today you join me at another car meet, so we'll take a walk around and look what's here, film the cars for you, so sit back, relax and enjoy. First cab off the rank is this beautiful E55 AMG we have here and we now have channel stickers one on this side and one on that side beautiful challenger ladies and gentlemen Ladies and gentlemen, check out this beautiful Ford XAGT. What a lovely colour. Very rare. I don't think I recall seeing this nice brown colour on the road. Beautiful. Love it. It's got the globe wheels. What a beautiful paint job. <laughs> the distinctive flutes, which distinguish an XA GT from the XBs. Beautiful. XW GT Look at the condition of this one ladies and gents Beautiful All the chrome bits have been redone Everything has been done Attention to detail It's a genuine car I've got the owner here Look at that ladies and gentlemen Beautiful Windsor motor Tags, markings Original battery, all the auto light stickers, and along here are still there. Everything beautiful. Look at that the radiator. Windsor engine 351. Don't you have this car? A beautiful example, this thing's immaculate. Brand new, like it came out from the factory. It's better, it's better than it came out of the factory, isn't it? <laughs> actually, true, the owner was just telling me they weren't this good from the factory. Yeah, they were more rough than this, actually. Got the original registration label from back in uh, 1970 December 69. yeah it's a 69 model as you can see here that's when the XWs did come out and this registration stickers from 1970 beautiful 12 slot wheels an original <laughs> boot. Even the advertisement from back in 1969 when these came in. Look, look at the condition of this boot. Beautiful. Oh yes. There's the XA. I would say that's an RPO 83. It's got a bit of a cam in it. We'll hear this thing take off. Very nice sounding, nice lumpy camshaft. Look at the presence on the road, ladies and gents. Beautiful.
Ladies and gentlemen, check out this beautiful silver Mustang. Immaculate. Beautiful rims. Haven't seen these before. Immaculate paint job. Look at all the nice chrome. Uh, dart block, straight to 363. So that's the only ladies and gents. Thank you. Beautiful engine bay. And a big motor to suit with all the power. Look at all the attention to detail, ladies and gents. Every nut and bolt is brand new. Yes, I'm sure Too much chrome, Steve. Not oh, bad, eh? You can't put your fingers on it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's why I'm keeping the camera. Or... <laughs> Even the latches, everything perfectly Just done. Just missing AC, Steve. Beautiful. He needs AC. We need ah, four more windows. Ah, come on. You went like that three, four years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, check out this boot. Could even have your dinner in here. That's how beautiful it is. Fully immaculate. In the tool bag, just in case. <laughs> yep, an original Mustang bag. All the chrome has been redone, everything. Beautiful. One of the best examples you'll see. So, 65 model, isn't it? 66. 66. And check out the dish on that rib. Beautiful car. Fully immaculate straight body. Nice paint job. Everything you can even see all the detail in here. Nice shifter. Beautiful red dash. And the crash pad. Beautiful. Another 66 Mustang. Here comes another XE and a beautiful XT Falcon leaving. model Mustang 2017 model so you can see how they've changed during the years but they've kept that same 
Mustang theme. <laughs> so another Mustang here. I think this might be 18 or 19 model. Check out the carbon fibre on it. Carbon fibre bonnet. Carbon fibre guard. So the whole front end is carbon fibre, except for the grill, of course, and the bumper. And this is a GT500. So a beast, ladies and gents. Big Brembo bait brakes. Beautiful rims. More carbon fibre along here, I love it. And I like the red on the bottom of the seal panel. Carbon fibre spoiler. More carbon fibre along here. The cobra badge showing it's a Shelby. And a nice carbon diffuser on the bottom. With the quad exhausts. Beautiful example. Very mean looking indeed. Immaculate SRT Chrysler. Look at the big wheels on that. Does do the car justice. That'd be original with the SRT engraving. Red Brimbo brake calipers. It's got the sunroof. 5.4 litre. This is Holden Ute, Commodore, with a V8. Ford LTD and a Chrysler Regal next to it. Holden Kingswood. Nice colour, grey and a bit of black. Sixty-three Holden Ute. I think there's a sixty-three or sixty-two, sixty-three I'd say. Beautiful gold colour, which has a touch of green in it as well, depending on the shade. So it is a pearl colour. Giving off a very beautiful shine. But as you say, there's and another brother parked next to it. They've got to do more work. In a grey silver colour. Look at that engine, ladies and gents. Beautiful. Look at all the chrome. All the attention to detail. It's easy to work with. Like. There's a little patch the Even the sticker on the radiator cap. The latchings. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. A beautiful 56 Chevy. Spoto a 56 Chevy. A 56 Chevy four door. <laughs> Not two door this time. Check out this beautiful blue colour ladies and gents, nice metallic colour with a white and all the chrome, beautiful. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen check out this magic Statesman Caprice, Holden Statesman Caprice, beautiful chrome wheels in an original colour. It's got a sports steering wheel added. Beautiful. 
beautiful, neat engine bay. Fully restored. Beautiful. Another beast from back in the early 1900s, maybe 1930s. Oh, no. oh, okay. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's beautiful. Beautifully rebuilt. <laughs> I like the number plate jack off. Nice touch with the Julie's, Julie exhausts. Very nice. Ford Falcon 2 door. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Beautifully maintained. Actually, this has been restored. The Ford Deluxe. Very nice, all original spec, original engine, six cylinder. A lot of work went into these beautiful cars that you're seeing here today. Here's another early car. I'd say it's a 1934 model. V8 block sitting in the engine bay. And although this car's been restored, you can see from the condition of the seats that it's been driven regularly, which is something that I agree with. These cars should be driven regularly to be enjoyed. Not parked up in the garage, just sitting there trying to collect value. I like owners that drive their cars. Beautiful. Another Ford Muzzy. Ford Mustang, Muzzy as we call them here in Oz. And a beautiful bright red colour. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got music playing and I hope that I don't strike a copyright. Uh, there is some music playing at this um, car show, so if it all goes quiet on the video, you'll know that it's breached the uh, copyright laws of YouTube. So just bear with me. Um, hopefully that's not going to happen. Hopefully you'll get to hear everything in the video. If not, if it mutes out, you know what happened. Because there is a stereo blasting up to my right um, with commercial music. So hopefully we'll get away with it. We'll have, it. we'll have to wait and see. So here's a HSV. This is um, a VZ, I think. HSV Club Sport R8. I'm pretty sure it's a VZ. And next to it, a GTS HSV with an LS supercharged engine. A nice black. So that's all. Beautiful. So you can see how the models have changed in the years with these HSVs. And listen to that. Thank you very much for talking to us. So the silver Mustang, beautiful sound. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, check out this beauty. This beautiful Viper. I would love to have one of these in my garage, I'll tell you that. Look at the exhaust coming out the side. Beautiful. 
I've done that very, very nicely indeed. Nice red calipers and the red theme. Love it. And the interior's got some red bits. They're on the steering wheel and the red stitching. And the Viper decals. Beautiful. Very nice. In a matte black finish. Ladies and gentlemen, this BMW has got a Chev engine in it. So this has gone through a beautiful transformation. Lovely gold Simmons. Love the stickers on it with the gold and the black suits it beautiful. Very nice indeed. Now that music is getting me very, very upset because I'm trying to film and I might breach the copyright laws of YouTube. Mustang going. AC Cobra in a nice bluey grey type colour with a 427 big block V8 in it. The extractors and the exhaust coming out the sides. And ladies and gentlemen, check out the wheels on that and how wide they are. Yeah, I'd really, really love to own one of these. These would be so exciting to drive on the road and they sound so mean. And there's the Lotus, so we get to hear it as it takes off. You're sounding very nice indeed. And the 1962 Daytona. Sounding nice. Exe Ford Falcon. Four litre six cylinder. It's actually an XR6. Yes, it is. It's got the Tickford badging. So, this is starting to come up in value, if not already getting up there. Check out this paint job, ladies and gents. It's got white specks in it, purple with white specks. Beautiful. Nice rims with a nice dish. And here's an XE with a shaker. I love the touch. I wish all VHs came out with a shaker so that you could see the movement. As you're driving, so the Viper's going. So is the HSV. But listen to this, ladies and gents the BMW with the Chevy engine and that supercharger wine sounds crazy. Sound to it. Whoa, listen to that. Ladies and gents, check out this immaculate Cortina. Oh, I think this one's been restored. This one looks like it's in original condition. Original. It is original. That's the owner, ladies and gents. Letting us know, mate, this thing's been very, very well kept. Look at that. 155,000 cases. And these are 1980. 1978. 1978. So, ladies and gents, this is exactly how this car 
came out in 1978, you were seeing it original from factory, not restored. Oh, except for the rims. The yep. rims aren't original. Oh yes, of course. Very, but very yeah. Home. Put away. Very, very nice indeed. Thank you. Immaculate. So it's actually a gear. As you can see from the badge, so these were like the LTD version of, or actually Fairmont, of the uh, Cortina. Look at that. We'll have a look at the other side of the interior. I do love the wheels on this. They have been changed from original, but it gives it a very nice touch. And it suits the black vinyl roof. It's got the louver on the back. Original. Lovely, all the badging is on there. The Cortana gear, six cylinder. Badge on the Ford badge is there. Everything. Nice tow bar. Very, very well maintained indeed. And the interior, look at that. Look how clean it is. Beautiful. And as I said, original. So not restored. And that is how the suits came out with that trim. Very nice indeed. Lovely. The door cards. Everything. And we'll get a chance to see the Chevy Bel Air take off. Oh, sounds like it's got a supercharger in that one. And the beefy one. All sounding very good. But yes, ladies and gents, let me know in the comments what you think of this Cortina. Do you agree with me? Are you amazed at it like I am? I appreciate quality like this. And ladies and gentlemen, another historical car. A beautiful red paint color. Nice Drago wheels. This looks uh, like it may not have been restored or oh, it's been restored but at an early date. Because you can see like the radiator. Uh, very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, Rachel, Falcon Deluxe. Ladies and gentlemen, check out that XC Ute. Not very often you see those. But yeah, that's an XC. Very nice indeed. Nice black. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to finish off the video looking at this beautiful 1976 Tirana Coupe. And I love the Chev badging on it. Just gives it a nice touch. I'd say it's got a Chevy engine in it. To have the badge on it, of course. Nice blue and black combo and the chrome. Looking very, very nice indeed. It's got the Recaro seats in it with the uh, mesh headrests. Very nice. Grew up with these Recaros. These were very, very well sought after seats back in the day when I had my coupe. Some nice speakers, the Clarions. I remember the Clarions back in the day. Nice big wheels on it, with nice chrome. Very nice indeed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the video. We're going to leave it there. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Thank you very much for the, your support. And we will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.